In chapter 1110, Zoro, he officially defeated Rob Lucci. Well, hold up, let's do that again. Zoro appears to have defeated Rob Lucci. And the reason why I word it like that is because some people might argue he wasn't defeated since in chapter 1111 he was still standing. But if you guys look at the scar, Lucci definitely couldn't have kept fighting Zoro and he clearly won the fight. So for the sake of this video, since the fight it is over and one person is in clearly better condition than the other, we're going to say that Zoro indeed won the fight. I want to talk about this today because I made a video about five or six months when the fight originally started and gave my thoughts then. And now that it's concluded, I want to give my thoughts now. There were some people that when I originally made it disagree with that video, but now that everything is over, I think that we can make a fair assessment of the fight. But if you guys enjoy regular anime content, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys never stop a new video that I have managed potential unleash and let's talk about the conclusion of Zoro versus Rob Lucci and if you guys are wondering where this number comes from that's how long it took for Zoro to defeat Lucci they started fighting in chapter 1091 and the fighting concluded in chapter 1110 slash 1111 from September 3rd all the way to March 17th technically if you're trying to push a narrative that six month number is correct so anyone that says that it took Zoro six months to defeat Rob Lucci, they would be correct. They're not lying, however, they're not fully telling the truth because they disregard the context behind why it took so long. If you take out eight of those chapters from 1095 to 1102, that would be a total of two months. The reason why we have to exclude those chapters is because it includes the Kuma flashback. Then there's the different Oda breaks or Weekly Shonen Jump breaks as well that he took during this period which would equate to a total of around two months. So in actuality it took Zoro 12 chapters to defeat Rob Lucci which is a total of three months instead of the six month time frame that we've seen going around the community. The reason why so many people are so adamant about highlighting the six month time frame for a particular reason is because they want to push their agenda. If you guys don't know what agenda pushing is, essentially it's when you're trying to push your point. Most of the time it involves a lot of biases or bringing down points that others have made. I don't have a problem with agenda pushing. We see it within the community all the time. We see the Shanks agenda, there's Dragon, there's Mihawk, there's Yonkos versus Admiral, Zoro versus Sanji. Those are probably the biggest ones within the community. And as I mentioned earlier, there is nothing wrong with agenda pushing. I just think it depends on how you do it and what you're trying to push. What I mean by that is if you're trying to push your agenda where it makes it seem as your words is law or your word is the truth, I don't necessarily agree that is the best way to do it because that doesn't necessarily mean what you said is correct. There are a lot of different content creators that push agenda. Heck, even I do it and I don't think there's a single content creator that doesn't push agenda in some way shape or form whether it's consciously or unconsciously. I do think that some push it way more than others and because they have such a huge fan base or they have such a huge following that some people think what they say is law when it's not. I'm not going to say any names. I'm not trying to have this clipped and sent to somebody as if I'm attacking them or as if I hate them. I don't. I also don't want anything to be taken out of context, so that's why I'm not going to be dropping any names. But I also don't necessarily agree with the way that they push their agenda because what they're doing for this particular fight, they're a Sanji fan or a Sanji lover, or at least that's the way they've been portrayed. A lot of times I see them push agenda for Sanji to be Zoro's equal or even at times stronger than him, which isn't true. Yes, they are the right and left hand wings of the Pirate King. Yes, they do have moments when they're doing things together, doing certain things like protecting Luffy or fighting commanders. And yes, there always have and always will be an order within the crew when it comes to strength. It will always be Luffy, then Zoro, then Sanji. Luffy and Zoro are portrayed as equals and there's also times whenever Sanji and Zoro are portrayed in the same light. And so what they've been doing is they've been pushing agenda in order to make it seem like Sanji is Zoro's equal or stronger than him. And because of how influential these content creators are, I think as long as you specify your stance and acknowledge that you have a little bit of bias before you say what you say, 
then it's all right. For example, y'all know me, I am a Zoro fan till I die. So there are times whenever I talk about Zoro, I probably picture him or talk about him in a better light, or I hold him in a higher standard or higher regard than a lot of other people. I try my best not to necessarily include my biases whenever I talk about him in regards to panels that have actual facts, but sometimes it happens unconsciously. Another YouTuber I know is a big Katakuri fan who he probably holds holds Katakuri to a higher standard or gives him more credit than he deserves because he's a fan. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's when you don't specify that's what you're doing and you act like your agenda is law when there's a problem. Back to the Zoro versus Luchi debate, I'm not necessarily bad with how long the fight lasted because when Zoro got serious, he ended up low diffing Rob Luchi. Once Sanji was talking his mess and called him a bird in Zoro, he didn't take that lightly and he destroyed him with a Hahava spot hunt and one shot at him. Was he using advanced conquerors? I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest fan of the black lightning method because at times it's hard to tell whenever a character is using advanced conquerors or not. Typically when in Zoro using advanced conquerors they identify it with green hockey and him stating king of hell but he did it in this attack. But it was definitely a different black lightning clash than what we saw when Luffy and Luchi were originally fighting. So if I had to say I do believe that it was a conqueror coded attack. So if I have to say, I do believe that Zoro defeated Luchi with a Conqueror's coded attack. When we talk about the length, I think that people need to realize who Zoro is. Ever since the post time skip, when has he taken opponents seriously? The only ones I can confidently say is probably Kaido, Big Mom, and King. If you look at his other opponents, there's Monet, there's Pika, there's Killer, there's Apu. He usually plays with his food and then finishes them off with a swift attack. He goes back and forth, not going 100%. However, when push comes to shove and it's time to stop playing around, Zoro defeats his opponent with relative ease. I don't know how people feel about this. Personally, I think we can just sum it all up to just being an anime thing. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I do think people need to realize that Zoro, he has a tail whenever he's serious in a fight. The first, it depends on how many swords he's using as the three sword style is his strongest. Then it's if he's using hockey or not and then after that is whenever Zoro decides to put on his durag and lastly advanced conqueror slash Ashra since we believe Ashra is an advanced conqueror's attack but if you had to rank the two Ashra would probably be Zoro's peak as he's only used it whenever he's at his limit. I personally believe that Zoro probably shouldn't have fought against Luchi in my opinion I don't think that this was an opponent not just Zoro, but Luffy needed to fight. I think it was more somebody on Sanji or Jinbei's level. But hey, this is what Oda wanted to do. And if you guys say or believe that this fight wasn't necessarily the best or was bad, I'm not going to say I agree with you guys. But I'm not going to argue with it. I don't necessarily think it was necessary. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you guys felt about Zoro vs. Luchi in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never saw a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. It's on the screen and in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to unleash your potential.